Hey there everyone, it's your host Sai Kumar Reddy here, Senior Data Scientist and AI Engineer at Physicswala and also a YouTuber. So guys, here is a very interesting update for you all. MLflow has officially rolled out its version 3.0 update. So what's an uh, interesting update here you all know, MLflow has officially entered into generative AI space. So previously those who all don't know what actually is an MLflow, MLflow is an experiment tracking tool, an open source tool which is officially available on GitHub and you have even their library as well, you can install it and you can track experiments. It was mainly used in traditional machine learning models. So if you're building a machine learning into a pipeline, there you normally use MLflow to track the experiments and also to log the parameters and accuracy of the model precision recall you if you want to log them right you can log them for a specific model artifacts to store them and in short to uh, do model registry we use MLflow but now with their version 3.0 update they have officially entered into generative AI space where they provide deep observability and tracing so there are totally four uh, new open source tools which they have announced or you can say four open source uh, sections which they have included in their existing MLflow UI where number one is deep observability and tracing where it captures the entire workflow and also the prompt and retrievals everything like an LLM calls everything has been traced here. Number two LLM as a judge. So what this LLM as a judge will do is they have uh, created an inbuilt judge which can find out the hallucination of a specific model and also it can detect the relevance. Prompt registry, you can also do versioning of a prompt like you can create the prompt templates and you can version it and you can later reuse it as well. So that they have provided in their particular application or in UI right now. And agent and application versioning, in short here what it happens is it can version the complete generative AI application and agents from very basic parameters, code, evolution metrics and, and it's a complement to git you can say in short. So I have created a dedicated video explaining you all about all these particular features about MLflow and also a practical implementation as well. I have uh, downloaded it, downloaded the MLflow library locally in my laptop and I have executed some scripts for you all and showed you all how you can actually use MLflow with generative AI. So you can just check out the video link is in comment section. If you haven't subscribed the channel, do subscribe the channel. And if you haven't followed me, do follow me for more. Thank you all.